Hello, welcome to this tutorial on Morris Dimba. So this was our end plate clearance. Let me just enter that end plate clearance. Clearance. And we have this will define this will be our end plate. This will be our end plate with which will be 160 millimeter and we have the plate profile here our end plate profile profile and the change will hide that and change the value type to profile change the value type to profile now, now we want to enter the formula here which is equal sign the plate is PLT, uh, abbreviated as PLT. So just type PLT here. Well, first of all, just type hyphen there and type PLT right there and move to the next plus an integer of P2, integer of P2 into bracket plus hyphen shift then uh, use sh the arrow to bring the uh, multiple, multiple though you can just do the x or uh, i prefer using this sign here then i move to the next step i'll add to the integer integer of p3 integer of p3 and I'll close that. I'll enter. So you'll be able to see I have this at my end. You can see that already. If it doesn't work, you'll see this profile taking this to the next, moving to the next, moving to the value section, which is not correct. And you are always advised to uh, redo it and you'll find it correct. Now we want to copy this. We want to just copy this the plate profile so what i'm going to do i'm going to i'm going to the plate browser so what i'm going to do just to drag it aside so that you'll be able to see what we're trying to do i'll refresh this then select the plate itself and come to part here and select on the part and pick on the general properties we'll click on that plus sign then come to profile select on profile then paste the P4 there, then close. So if you come here, if you come to a P3 and try to change this to 300 and enter, you'll be able to. It, it should it should it should it should be able to change, and that one also, if you change to 20, should be able to change. So if we try that, you'll be able to control all that. Now I'm going to I'm, I'm going to add another variable. I'm going to add another variable, and I'm going to change this to zero. I'll delete that. I'm going to add another variable here, and what I'm going to add now is this. I'm going to extend the place on top on the top end. So I'm going to select on it, select on the plate, then I'm going to pick this point right click and come to bind to plane. I'm going to bind it on the plane right there and it, it has been already placed. So we are going to bind it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bind it on the surface of our beam. So I'm going to select on it, right click and come to bind to plane, select on the end plate, select on that point, right click and come to bind and I'll bind in, in to, to this plane. I'm going to click okay. So I'm going to add another parameter right here and I'm going to equate that section to uh, P2 to P, I mean to P6. So I'm going to type here P6, P6. So if I come to P6 here, I click OK. If I come to P6 here and add 20, enter, you see it, it is extending upward. 
So I'm going to add another parameter. So I'm going to the bottom end here. I'll come to navigate, rotate with mouse, and select on that and turn it round. I'm going to select on this, then target this point, select on it, right click and come to bind to plane. I'm going to bind it to the bottom end of the beam right there, and I'll give it an OK. So I'll have another variable in place, and I want to feed in a parameter that will be able to control it. I'm going to add another parameter there. So I'm going to create this D5 to this P7. I'm going to put an equal sign there, and, and uh, feed that should be equal to P7. So if I come to P7 here and feed, just click OK, and uh, feed in 20, and, and enter on my keyboard, and you'll be able to see there's an increase on that side, on top and bottom. So you can add 50, and this one also you add maybe 50. And enter on your keyboard, you'll be able to see this is increasing. So that's how you do, and we'll move to the next.